In this next step, we will transfer our separated proteins out of the gel and into a solid membrane or blot. This is based upon the same principle as the previous step in which an electric field is applied to move the negatively charged proteins towards a positive electrode. Transfer can occur under wet or semi-dry conditions. Here we will demonstrate the traditional wet transfer method. Start by removing the gel from its cassette, cutting off the top portion containing the wells. Notch the top left corner to indicate gel orientation. Float the gel and transfer buffer while preparing the transfer sandwich. To make the transfer sandwich, you will need a cassette, sponges, filter paper, the gel, and your choice of either PVDF or nitrocellulose membrane. PVDF must first be activated by soaking the membrane in methanol for two minutes, but other than this, the choice of nitrocellulose or PVDF membranes is a personal preference. Notch the top left corner to indicate blot orientation, and incubate membranes and transfer buffer for 10 minutes. Create a stack by placing the following components from the black negative cathode to the red positive anode. Sponge, filter paper, gel, membrane, be careful not to touch the gel or membrane with your bare hands and use clean tweezers or spatulas instead. Touching the membrane during any phase can contaminate the blot and lead to an excessive background signal. Filter paper and sponge. Use a clean roller with each layer to gently roll out any bubbles that may be present since bubbles will inhibit efficient protein transfer. Lock the cassette and place it in the transfer apparatus containing cold transfer buffer, ensuring that the cassette is properly positioned from negative to positive. In order to prevent heat buildup, it is beneficial to transfer with a cold pack in the apparatus or in the cold room with a spinner bar placed in the bottom of the chamber. Close the chamber and connect to a power supply. Perform the transfer according to the manufacturer's instructions, which is normally 100 volts for 30 to 120 minutes.